Hey guys, you watch another Bulletproof Tech video. Today, I'm gonna be building what I've always wanted to build um, to help me lift heavy stuff in the shop, and that is a gantry. And mine's gonna look like this. Everybody's got their own opinion on what they should be structured like. So, Spencer, we uh, started working on this thing, and uh, Spencer cut out all the, the tubing for me. Don't really want to video any of that because nobody wants to watch someone cutting stuff. So he's just chain welding the uh, the tubes here together. These are the the two and a half by quarter inch thick ones, and these are going to make up the bottom feet where the casters mount to. Uh, I just got done drilling all the the plates for uh, connecting the I beam to the legs, and uh, I'm going to start deburring those and getting the oil cleaned off of them. And then after that. Um, all we have to do is chain weld the uh, legs together and uh, we're going to weld those flanges onto the I-beam and uh, then we'll be able to stand it up. I'm going to use the electric hoist and we're going to stand them up that way and uh, I'll video that. Okay guys, so uh, right now we're just getting these legs mounted to the uh, flanges. See here, uh, Spencer, he's welding the, the tubing uh, for the legs here onto the, uh, the flange. Um, and uh, I've got the flanges all put on there already. They're welded on the beam. And uh, so it looks like you got this one on there. And uh, yeah, it's moving the I-beam with it, so that's good. So all we gotta do now is put the other leg, get that welded on this flange here, and then uh, after that, we're going to unbolt both of them, and we're going to move the I-beam over there, and uh, bolt one leg back on and sand it up. And once it's stood up, we're going to weld a foot on over there, and uh, that'll keep the beam from rocking back and forth. And then we'll stand up the other side, and we'll have a leg with a foot already on it, and we'll bring it underneath and bolt it in.
Well, we got a whole bunch done yesterday. Got the beam up in the air, which is a big, big job. Um, got all the, uh, the pieces for the legs put together and assembled. What I'm gonna do today is I got the mag drill over there. We're gonna make a couple more uh, flange plates here. We're gonna need to make four more of them to go on here and on the, uh, the other piece um, for the kicker up here. I've already got the, uh, the two for the top. <clears throat> so um, after I get those other two flanges pieces made, I'm going to cut some tubing for that. And for this here, I just got to work on the, the gantry here some more, not the left gantry. Um, so, uh, let's see here, a couple days ago I got these tubes here cut out and the problem I'm having with this right now is, um, I believe the angles I need to put on this are about 25 degrees down here and probably about 65 degrees up here to make, you know, 90 degrees and, uh, the problem is I can make that angle there, I can't make this one, so I'm being lazy and what I'm just going to do is take some of these, uh, not these here, but, um, these over here, I cut some more flat stock out, quarter inch, and I'm just going to take and weld it up uh, sort of like this here, make sure I get the camera in the right shot. And uh, all I need to do is get, you know, a fair amount of it welded. Um, all those really do is keep the uh, main beam from going either way. Um, if I get something heavy on here, uh, such as the cab off that truck eventually, when I find a right motor for it, so, um, and uh, it also helps stiff in this bottom down here, even though it's already really, really tough being two and a half inch square tubes, you know, both together with quarter inch wall thicknesses. Um, it just kind of keeps everything stable. And uh, I also got the other ones cut up. These down here, they're, they're really tricky to do because you got to keep the pipe from rolling. And unfortunately I got one rolled a little bit. It's probably about 10 degrees off, but I think I can weld it up. And those go right there. Um, just helps keep the uh, the gantry from tipping either way and uh, crashing down. Um, I don't think it's going to happen like that because I've already had the uh, uh, I already had the 350 MP up here because I took it to a welding job with me and uh, I can I use this uh, chain fall here and as you can see I got the trolley up there it rolls really nicely. Um, I might add a little bit at the end of this video kind of a little bit of a review on that but. Uh, Anyway, um, what I'm doing right now, I already got the, uh, the triples made up for, uh, I already got some of them made up. I've got more to do. What I decided instead of using just three on each side, I'm going to use five on each side and that gives us a total of 30 tires. And so, cause this is the original design here, I'm going to have, <coughs> um, these three plus one in each of the middles here. Alrighty guys, well, this is a, uh, a project that's almost done, and I for one am happy. Um, it's taken a while to get here, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, <clears throat> you guys may be able to tell, I'm just getting over a cold right now, and uh, I haven't been feeling very well for the last few days, so no work's gotten done on this in about a week. Um, I'll just run you guys through what I did. Um, Harbor Freight took forever to get all these wheels to me. I got 30 tires on here total, um, 10 swiveling casters, and uh, it took them roughly two weeks to get everything to me, so 
That slowed things down. Um, the other thing is, is I've got to drill 5 8 holes in each one of these swiveling casters to run a rod through. And uh, that took a while to do. It took me a whole day just to get all those done. Um, I usually don't work eight hours in one day out here because uh, I just don't have that amount of time to do that. But, um, you know, it took me a good six hours to get all those rods cut and get the holes built in them and everything. So, uh, <clears throat> and then I added all these um, braces here to uh, just get this thing tightened up, get it from uh, doing any wobbling or anything like that. And that took a while. You know, everything takes a long time to do, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, it's almost done now. All I'm going to do is go around and clean everything up, get the sharp edges off everything, and uh, get everything ready. I'm going to paint it black and red. Um, you guys will see that in a bunch of future videos to come. I'm not going to show that in this video because I honestly, I don't want to uh, make this too long. Um, I'm already rambling it on and up as it is. So, but you guys will definitely see this thing in a bunch of future videos. I got a lot of stuff planned for it. Um, just to wrap this up, I'm gonna give you guys a quick view of picking this uh, Chevy K10 up. Just show you how much weight this thing can pick up. They have a little bit of squat in them. Nothing too serious. That's why I have 30 tires on those things because each one of them can squat a little bit and the other ones are uh, taking up the weight, you know, sharing the weight across the whole beam there. And uh, for anyone who um, is wondering how I'm going to fill the middle tire, I actually thought about that a little bit just today. Um, I was like, shit, you know. What if a middle tire goes flat like they usually do with these Harbor Freight uh, <coughs> casters? And uh, where it is? Here it is. This uh, air tool here. Here we go. We can do this one. You see that? That in there? This little uh, valve stem there. I can get to that with this here pretty easily. It might not show up that good on camera, but I can get to it and. Uh, it's not going to be a problem for me to fill air up in the middle tires. The outside ones are going to be no problem at all. So, uh, <clears throat> um, if you're wanting to do this, don't worry about that. As long as you have one of those, they're pretty common uh, air truck, and uh, you can get the middle ones filled up. But that's pretty cool. You can see the front of the truck's all up in the air like that, and uh, yeah, I mean the tires aren't touching the ground. I'll show you real quick. It's got four-wheel drive locked in right now, so I can't rotate the tires too much but you can see it the tires moving so uh, that'll be it for this I'm gonna get the sharp edges cleaned up like I said before and uh, get this thing painted so I want to thank you guys for watching um, please check out our channel and uh, we'll see you in the next video